What's up, what's up, what's up? The uh, water fell out of the sky, you know? Water fell out of the water fell out of the sky today. That is awesome. Been waiting for that rain to come through. You know, we just had that we just had that um, tropical storm push in the golf area. So right before we had that, sorry, trying to make myself a place to sit um, in my garage. And this is just an impromptu video, me on my phone, just talking and, and chopping it up with you guys. You know, I just did the same, gave the same information to my Patreons. Uh, so if you are interested in becoming a Patreon, you should join today. They get information like this all the time. And a lot of times it's just like this. It's just real rough cut, me sitting down and just chopping it up with them. But, uh, you know, I thought I'll chop it up with you a little bit and tell you what I see, what is going on with the water and the water conditions, what the bite is probably going to do here in the next couple days, and, and what, what you should expect if you are going to fish uh, within the next few days. So right now, we do have strong winds on the coast that made the beachfront extremely dirty, extremely choppy. It is dark, it is brown, it is choppy, there's a lot of strong currents. Uh, but what that does also what bite it does help is the drum bite it helps the bull red bite they like that current they like uh, that water movement the uh, the system that came in drops and raises the barometric pressure so all fish will fill it all fish can create feeding frenzy with all fish so if you are thinking about hitting the beachfront uh, probably be a very good idea to start targeting some bull reds right now yeah, you have a little bit of a window uh, before the uh, before <clears throat> before the water conditions will go back to normal. So probably the next day, maybe two days, you, know, you probably re really get out there and take off. You take your surf rods out and really get out to those bull reds and probably probably most likely uh, some sharks too. But on the inshore, uh, you know, targeting and fishing some more of the inshore fish. You know, this water level, this storm surges will push the raise the water level and push a lot of fish into the marsh. It will push the bait as far as they can go into the marsh system and it will push those reds, the the flounder. I've been seeing a lot of flounder in the marsh lately, a lot of trout. So it's gonna start pushing them as far back as they can go into the marsh, raise the water level. Like I said, that barometric pressure, raising and dropping, it's gonna create feeding frenzies. Fish are gonna be constantly eating. Um, right now there's a ton of mullet in the marsh. There's a lot of small shad. There's a lot of shrimp in the marsh and also a lot of those little silver glass like minnows. So with that in mind, those are some of the lures or colors uh, patterns that you should select when you are going to fish the marsh. So with all the fish getting pushed back into the back of the marsh, all the reds getting pushed back in the back, and the bait pushed back in the back, that should push you back into the back. You should get on the, you're getting your kayak or getting your boat and go back as far as you can. A lot of times what the fish would do, they will get into big schools, especially the reds. This is a great time to really target them in huge schools where they don't care your retrieve technique <laughs> they, they don't care they're what size line you're using they're not line shy they're just feeding very very aggressive and just push back as far as you can and you're gonna run into them keep going until you start running into them keep going until you start seeing the blow-ups and uh, sometimes they're even past where you can go you can hear them uh, exploding and banging out bait uh, in the grass you're like man I just can't get to them just keep pushing keep pushing you'll find them you'll get into them this is a very exciting time to be fishing because everything is going to be feeding everything is going to be stirred up yes the water is going to be dirty yes the water is going to be silty then that's when we rely on stuff that's when we rely on uh other stuff that that can draw the fish in like sound right using that voodoo cork popping that popping sound using the the voodoo shrimp with the rattle in them yeah, using Chatterweight, using, using Texas Rattler Jig Head, using Procure, using other scents, uh, using Gulp. Um, you're, you want to bring the fish in and draw the fish in because they're not going to be really feeding that much sight because a lot of stuff's going to be stirred up. And then what happens, so we had a probably two foot, um, I went and fished the other night, we probably had about two foot uh, water level that was low. 
Now with the storm surge pulling in, I just drove by one of the local bios right here and it probably looks like anywhere from two to four feet uh, over normal level over the crest. So you have a very high water level. So push back far into the marsh and go get those fish. As the water level starts dropping, that's gonna suck all the fish that have been pushed back, all the fish uh, out of that area. So there's a lot of areas you can fish that have choke points. A lot of marsh systems, use Google Maps. You can see kind of where a marsh system empty out into a larger lake, and that lake may empty out to the intercoastal or other, the other main water channels. Uh, it is, creates any areas that create choke point. You can just, as the water level drops, all that fish is going to come through there, and you can really just pick them off, you know, set up the anchor. Uh, if you're weight fishing or bank fishing, yeah, even some of these subdivisions, all that bait's going to get pushed in there. So um, a lot of times the overnight bite around all these subdivisions can really start popping and really be on. And as it drains out uh, throughout the day, you can really pick them off in those subdivisions too in case you are not, aren't going to be night fishing. But this is, this is very, it can be very tricky, but this can be a very rewarding time to get out there and fish. Uh, keep in mind, there's rip currents, there's strong winds, there's other uh, safety things that you have to take and consider. Uh, make sure you do have, if you're night fishing, make sure you have 360 light. Make sure you have your 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 jacket, your your PDF, your your um, uh, flotation device. Make sure you let your loved ones know where you're going. You know, just be safe. You know, play play it by ear. Be safe. Use your apps. Use your wind apps know which what direction the wind is blowing but you should definitely get out there these this next window is going to be key uh the water level rising it's going to be great to get back into that marsh system and really get after those fish when the water level is dropping water movement is key water movement is always key right now great water movement so as it starts as the water level starts dropping and it starts sucking everything back out, all the water back out, sucking the bait out, sucking the predator fish out, pick them off. It's going to be great. Go fish. Go fish.